Well, I can tell you the last two years have gone fast. I think I've learned quite a bit in the last two years. And it's been pretty rewarding because you get to deal with a lot of people that I've never met before or talked to before. And I actually made a lot of friends out of this, but it's, uh, I just would like to, the city to keep going the way it's going. It's, I think we're on an upward turn and I believe we're gonna keep going. I mean, it's something that we have to do, but uh, you know, like I said, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. That's, that's the whole thing. Let's have a good time and just do what we gotta do. And, and with the people I'm working with, it's been great. I can't complain about any of them. It's been a super time working with each and every one of them. I myself, I don't know if I've really accomplished anything. I think it, 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 more or less it's been a team effort. I mean, there's a lot of great things we we did get accomplished. But like I said, I think I take more pride when I can actually help somebody a, you know, like a private citizen, because you can actually see it in their faces when you help them. And I think, like I said, that you get a nice reward out of it. And, and like I said, there's just, for an accomplishment, like I said, there's just just a feeling of that you've done something right. And hopefully you continue doing something right. But most of these people have been really great to me. And like I said, I know, like I, said I know we did like the Bartlett House, we did the, let's see. Bartlett, East State Street's been amazing. I mean, even uh, the Brandner Stadium's another good project if it's going. I think, I think all these things are heading in the right direction. But I mean, like I said, it's not me, it's the whole group of us. So it's been great working with. Basically, I think the city's doing just what it has to do right now. I mean, we, we're holding our line. And like I said, when it comes to budgets, budgets are right there. And I, and I think most departments have been really right on the numbers, but it's sort of nice that they do have a little extra at the end, so you're not really budgeting it too high, but you're, you're cutting it close sometimes, but we're making our numbers, and, so that, and that's through the work of the department heads. I mean, they're doing their jobs. They're, making, they're, they're, they're actually making my life easier. Well, we definitely have to do something with the slumlords, or the, you know, the, or property like the, the bank refinancing. I mean, I, I get so many phone calls for people wanting the yards mowed and stuff because the, the banks aren't taking care of them. And of course, you know, it comes on to us, which if you notice, we ran out of money here last last week. And I said, and it's little things like that because we, we have to clean up our neighborhoods for one. And I think if you get the neighborhoods cleaned up, it's everything else will start coming around. And I think pride will start going back to land. You know, I mean, if you come in like my neighborhood, there's not a yard that's not mowed or cleaned. I said, but when you go into some of these other neighborhoods, you'll see a house ran, all ran down. Doesn't look very nice. And of course, it's going to affect the rest of the neighborhood. So I mean, I think look, so the, uh, the pride is the biggest thing here. I think you, we have to develop it. And you have to develop a lot of people that just want to care what they're doing. What I'd really like to see is I'd like to see the uh, Bradner Stadium get the bathrooms in, get the restrooms going. I know that it's a, a pretty high price tag right now. But I still think if you can get that in there, because right now they're starting to draw people into the stadium. You can, you, you know, but it, it looks sort of weird looking at porta potties. So I mean, I think if we could get restrooms in there, I thought that's going to draw more people in there. Of course, we got to do more with the, the airport, but you're starting to get more and more revenue up there. So we have to keep investing money there. And I said, and we know what's going to happen on North Union Street. I mean, there's no doubt that's going to be. For a lot of people, it's going to be a little pain. But as, as, you, knowing me, I, I don't, don't really care for roundabouts, but we're not going to get around that, that part of it anymore. I mean, we're going to have them, and we're going to have to adjust. But I'm hoping everybody supports this plan because uh, this is definitely going to help downtown. I mean, that Tiger Grant's a great opportunity right now. I mean, we're getting all the infrastructure fixed. You're going to have new roads. You're going to use new sidewalks, new lights. I mean. When you look down, the, when I looked at that detailed drawing the other day, I said, you know, you, that's, pr that's pride right there. You look and, you, and it, it makes you feel proud of what you got. And I think that's what'll happen. I think we'll get a lot of people here that'll see that. And, and it, like I said, I think some people don't think it's gonna draw people in, but I, I think it worked really well. I mean, because like I said, anybody new to this area, they're gonna look and they're gonna, they're gonna have to take a second look at it. So hopefully that plans go through. But I mean, there's just like I said, I think the other big thing is probably, we still got a lot of infrastructure. I mean, and that's gonna cost a ton of money. So that one, you're gonna, you know, you're just gonna have to do productions and you're gonna figure out how, what roads, what uh, sewer lines and stuff you really wanna work on. And 
they just been have to have a priority list, and I think I think they've been pretty good about that. I think so the city heads have done they, they picked out the roads, you know, and they do have a priority list of some type, and they normally stick right to it. And then if they get get a little extra money, you work on something else, which which you know that's the only way you can do it in business. But like I said, I think I think that Olean is de definitely going in the right direction with this.